Hi grandkids, hello everyone, Nonna here. Today we're gonna to make a favorite Italian dish called arancini. They're little rice balls, great to have when friends come around or to take on picnics. We're gonna do it in three stages. We're gonna make the little rice balls first, then we're gonna coat them with the eggs, the flour and the breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna fry them in the hot oil. So let's have a look at the ingredients. We've got the rice, I've used two cups of the Arborio rice, just like we made in the risotto. Cook it really slowly with the liquid over the stove. Then we've got some grated cheese, breadcrumbs, an egg, parsley, pepper, and salt. I'm gonna mix them all together. So we put the rice in first, and then we can just add the other ingredients on the top. And we're going to use our hands for this one. egg, parsley, and salt, about a teaspoon of salt, and pepper, and about a teaspoon of pepper. Now, this is where you can get your hands dirty and just go in and mix it all up. It's going to be very sticky, but don't worry about that, the stickier the better. Okay, just mix it up with your hands, nice and sticky. Get the kids to help you. They'll love it. Now we're ready to make our rice balls. You'll notice that I've got some cubed cheese. I like to use mozzarella, little cubes, one centimetre cubed. I've got that already. And some of you might be asking why is the rice yellow? I've used a little bit of turmeric. You can use saffron if you just want to colour the rice a little bit. So here we go. Just take a spoonful of mixture Good idea to wet your hands and roll it into a ball. We make a little indent in the ball. We put the cube of cheese in. You might want to put just a little bit more on top and just roll it in your hands. There we have one ready. Wet your hands, get a spoonful of mixture, just roll it into a ball, make a little indent, put the cube of cheese in there, close it up. You might want to put a little bit more on that closure and roll it again into a little ball. Try not to make them too big. I've rolled half the mixture. I've made 12 rice balls. Now we're going to coat them. First in the flour, I'm going to beat the eggs and then we're going to roll them in the breadcrumbs. So this is how we start coating the rice balls. We put it in the flour first, dust off any excess. They go into the egg. I'm doing two at a time, you can do one at a time. Just make sure the egg is all nicely coated. And then lastly, we put them in the breadcrumbs. And what I usually do, I roll them in my hand just to secure the breadcrumbs on this surface. Put them in the flour. Put the egg mixture on. Just roll them in the egg mixture. And then we're gonna put them in the breadcrumbs. Okay, so continue with all the rice balls. Flour first, egg, and then the breadcrumbs. So flour first. Then the egg. Your hands get a little bit messy, but that's okay. That's the fun part. And the breadcrumbs. Maybe the kids can help you do the breadcrumbs. These are the last two. And then we're gonna take them over to the stove and cook them in nice hot oil. I've got the olive oil on the stove. Going to be like deep frying them. I'm just gonna test it with a little bit of rice. I've made here into a ball just to see. And you can tell that it's just starting to fry and that means the oil is ready. As you can see, the little test sample is frying beautifully. So I'm just gonna take it out and I'm gonna slowly drop in the rice balls. And you can see them sizzling. The lovely hot oil. I'll do them in two batches. So when they've turned a nice golden brown like that, Take them out and put them on some absorbent paper. 
So we're going to take out the last six. They're a lovely golden brown. Remember I said before, the rice is already cooked, so they don't take too long. Now we're gonna take them over and plate them up. So plate them up. And I'm gonna cut one to show you what it looks like inside. You'll find that the family, especially the kids, will love them. So let's cut one and have a look. Ah, that nice crunchy sound. And the cheese is melted inside. There we have it, arancini with a little bit of mozzarella. Buon appetito.